got to be something else I think it's kind of funny The people who died again Hey guys and welcome to today's video So today I'm going to be showing you guys my braces and wisdom tooth journey um, if you guys don't know, I'm doing a wisdom tooth and teeth extraction and then putting on braces. So I'm taking out my wisdom teeth here and then um, four teeth here. So yeah. So Wednesday, I'll be taking it out. I'm really excited. Thursday, I'll be getting my braces. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's suffer with me or something. This will be the last time that I'm going to be able to talk. But wish me luck. face is a little bit swollen my mouth stopped bleeding though anyways i ate breakfast i'll show you guys my breakfast tomorrow but yeah here's my lunch got some really good mushroom soup i might cook scrambled eggs hi guys it's currently in the middle of the day my mouth is so swollen i'm just gonna hide that but i've been studying and i just ate like this melon bun but I had to like rip it into tiny pieces and like yeah, and I've been eating it for like 20-ish minutes but yeah I've just been doing work, listening to music and writing notes we have dinner and then this is for everyone else chicken and then uh, so I just took my meds, I brushed my teeth let me tell you guys, it is such a hassle brushing the teeth it started bleeding like, it's slightly bleeding again, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, my face is starting to swell up. We're just going to ignore that. But honestly, compared to before, I can still talk perfectly well, which is surprising considering that I have five teeth out of my mouth. But yeah, it's a good thing. Because the last time I did my wisdom tooth, I wasn't able to talk at all. I had to talk with a lisp, and it was incredibly hard to understand what I was saying but yeah for now it's just swelling and not really much pain so I'm just watching YouTube now I just finished like my lectures and stuff so I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two or three I don't remember which day but yeah hey guys I mean, I've been editing um, my first day of poly vlog. I'm low key worried because at the end, it literally is just up to the ice cream. So I don't have anything after that. But yeah, my mom is coming back with food and low key, it's so swollen. It's like kind of annoying because the flesh is just like that. And it, it's hard to move my mouth. But okay, things have been getting better. Actually, my teeth is still hard because it kind of hurts. But yeah. So far, so good. Lunch, I got mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and strawberries squeezed from booze. So far, so good. I feel good, but my mouth cannot open that big. My <laughs> porridge, tofu, um, potato, and like lunch of meat. Hi guys, I'm on day 3 right now. Um, I'm actually reading uh, the X hex. Day 3, the swelling is there but I feel like it might go down soon, maybe by tomorrow or the next 2 days. But tomorrow I'm going to be meeting Gerald for maybe dinner or dessert, either one. But yeah, so far so good. Um, yeah, see you guys for lunch. Hi guys. Um, so this is my face so far 
I think most of it has this swell. You know this side, it's like a little bit swollen still. I haven't washed out my face in days. But yeah. Uh, I think the inside is still swollen though, so... I've just been doing my work so far. I'm eating Gerald for dinner. So I'm definitely gonna vlog that for you guys. And then, I think Thursday, I have my stitches removal and the braces appointment. So yeah, I'll bring you guys on with that. You can see a gradual like de-swelling of my face. But I'll show you guys closer to Thursday how de-swelled my face is by then. Anyway, see you guys soon. Hey guys, it's currently almost 7. It's like 6.40. Anyways, here's the fit. I'm wearing this shirt with my, my denim shorts. And I'm just gonna bring my phone and my keycard holder. And I'm gonna meet Joe with dinner. But my face is still very swollen. So we're just... Yeah. Supposed to what? Um, so this is my food. Uh, it's very half eaten. But it's, we all the same thing. So it's okay. You're vlogging for what? My braces and teeth extraction. Oh. Really. Yeah, really. How's your food? It's, uh, it's amazing. Okay. I love it. <laughs> okay. She's back. Okay. okay. Bye bye. We got like her grave and pistachio and chocolate. Yeah. Guys, Tuesday. I'm eating Maggi going. Spicy. I'm kind of sad they don't even give egg anymore. Um, but I think it's decent. I have an ice bag because the inside of my mouth is still swollen. And I'm watching Angel Vlog. Go watch her vlog. See y'all on Thursday and then Friday. Yeah. Guys, so actually I wanted to bake. So I have these brownies recipes. Um, I'm gonna try to get most of the ingredients. But instead of you know making use of my time studying, I'm just gonna make brownies. I've never baked before by myself. It's a pure recipe. So I'm gonna try to see how that works out. We'll update you guys. But so far, everything's a mess. Honestly, just the ingredients. Everything here, I've got instructions down. Yeah. Okay, so this is just an update or like things that you might want to take note of when you actually do either a wisdom tooth surgery or the extraction surgery i did my wisdom tooth and i did four extractions this is the first thing that you should take note when you go to surgery that day it's better to keep your hair neat like not neat but like have a rubber band don't like slick it up or something because it's gonna be irritating when you're trying to like get put your hair back and stuff second of all wear black for me, I wore a black shirt that day, thank god, like wear fully black and when I dripped my blood and saliva everywhere, it was not stained, it did not stain my shirt which was fantastic. Also bring at least about two packets of tissue, not like the small one, like the big ones. I think actually one packet's enough but like get like a big bag of tissue and a plastic bag because when your gauze is in and your mouth is so numb, your mouth is gonna just drip blood and saliva everywhere and bring like a bunch of masks to change into. I definitely eat soft foods. Um, I think this one's a general rule, but definitely you can get creative if it's not very painful. And those who have these four, oh my gosh, the rice that I ate stuck inside my socket. And then I was like, wow, I literally cannot chew this. It's going to get stuck in my socket. So it was blended up into like a porridge, seaweed porridge smoothie and I swallowed it all. I didn't, I didn't finish it but I just drank most of it but yeah, it was really gross, it was really disgusting so they gave me four types of medicines to eat at the same time and let me tell you guys the reason why I didn't eat like two of my medications and I only eat the painkillers and the antibiotics was because on the night that I got my surgery I took the medicine and then I went to shower and suddenly there was like a ringing sound my eyes started flashing really badly it was so bright i couldn't see properly i was really dizzy i couldn't stand still at all i felt like i was tipping over and like the ringing was so loud in my ears like i couldn't take it and like my body was really numb and i got like cold sweat and stuff so the only thing i had to do was just sit down and wait it out until it was over my sister's a pharmacist and she said that it could be a side effect so it was better to just eat antibiotics and the painkillers and just not eat the other two I'm gonna get my braces done right now I took all my stitches already but yeah. I picked a colour you'll see later why is my lips 
so pale. Hi guys, so I just got my bracelet. Uh, I'm meeting Rian for dinner now. Unfortunately, I cannot eat anything. Go for it, though. So, we're gonna try to get something soupy or soft. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Okay, hi guys. So, I want to do a haul of what I got from the dental place. So, the first thing I picked out was the color of my toothbrush. So, this thing is actually specially for bracelet. I have a list now too. And then I have a second toothbrush. It's white. It's like a little tiny brush that like it gets all the gunk out and stuff. And then I have this uh, fluoride rings. I only do it at night. Uh, it's for braces so that my teeth don't get yellow or have any discoloration i have floss because i have to floss my teeth too and then i got these uh interdental brushes so i can bring these out and put in between my brackets and then the dental wax which i have a feeling i might need but i might not use it okay it's this wax i don't know if you can see it now you can see it. it's this wax pieces that you can roll up and you stick it on your brackets if they are hurting you too much so actually i wanted to talk to you guys about my experience uh putting on my braces today honestly my teeth were super sensitive when she was putting on so it hurt really bad especially those closer to the the extraction so it hurt really bad and especially because these two are super crooked she had to use like extra bands to pull it and it was really painful my teeth right now are hurting a little bit it's a bit like sore i'm gonna say those who don't know how braces feel like imagine tiny little lego blocks or like nano blocks glued to your teeth and it's just like a row of like nano blocks just stuck to your teeth you cannot talk at all that is exactly how i feel when i first put it on i couldn't even swallow my slime properly i was like yo this feels kind of weird. Uh, I'll check back tomorrow. You know, check back how the pain is on day one. And then check back on the whole summary and I'll end the video by the end of the week or like next week. So one week after I got my braces. I'm so sorry for such a shit angle, but um, hi guys. I showered. It's currently 12. I tried to floss for the first time. I could not reach the bag because it's literally like a needle and thread and I can't put it inside. So ultimately I give up and I've lost like the front and now the pain is double the pain that I felt just now. So it really hurt. Like really hurt. So that's it. Don't don't try it please. Hey guys. Um so it's practically been a week since I got my braces. So I just wanted to let you guys know about the changes between from when I first got them and now. So first things first, definitely like all the little ulcers that I got or like the gums that like had torn and like had problems are healed now. So basically I don't feel any pain when I'm talking which is great. Um, and my teeth definitely do not hurt as much anymore. It doesn't feel like Legos are on my teeth right now. Uh, it feels normal. Although it does feel like a little bit like some, something is trapping my mouth. I'm getting used to the brushing techniques. Uh, although it's a little bit time consuming but it's like a routine. Something new that um, I can always learn and try. I'm eating meat. I'm chewing like I literally just ate char siu. So I think it's been really good. Um, my this side stopped hurting so I can just chew whatever the hell I want. This side still hurts a little bit but yeah. So I just want to talk about like my wisdom teeth extraction experience i really enjoyed it because comparing to my first one and my current one definitely feels a lot different less swollen my mouth could actually open and chew um on the left side compared to the other time where i could barely even open my mouth because it was so swollen i couldn't even close it my mouth was really open like this so i highly recommend if you are going to do uh, the four extractions do not eat porridge that has like visible uh, grains of rice but rather eat something like scrambled egg or mashed potato because uh, it's easy to get it out using the syringe rather than like the rice bits so yeah i think that's about it i think that's all for today's video 
thank you guys so much for watching um this video i know it's a little bit all over the place considering that it's over like a few weeks but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video stay safe stay healthy bye it's kind of crazy the kinds of things life throws at you I never knew I'd feel so safe in your eyes